right, welcome back everyone to Minecraft. It has been quite a while, I've been focusing on writing obviously. I finally got this texture pack, the BD Craft texture pack to work. The other one I had was incompatible with this, so I had to go to the site, download one for the new updates, and here we are. So, this is easily, I don't know if I've said this before or not, open the door. Okay, lag. Anyway, this is easily my favorite texture pack of Minecraft. It is great. I don't know. I'm not done with the house roof yet, so that might be all this episode is, unfortunately. Um, in about less than half an hour, one of my friends is going to be streaming. And he might be streaming some uh, Among Us. I will definitely be pointing because I love Among Us. I'm good at it really good at it so this will be, be like about a little less than half an hour or so now so it's pretty much going to be gathering wood being all that crap making stairs making the roof eventually finishing this damn house sometime hopefully soon then we can go start our mining trips and then you know eventually get to the nether, the end, all that other stuff. Not sure if I'll make the series go all the way to that or not. I don't know, really. But either way, I tend to have it going for quite a bit, so who knows? Anyway, I am still diligently writing, so don't worry about that. I don't know what other games I might do. I have a lot. I have more games on Steam than on my own good, honestly. I mean, I haven't really been playing Halo as much as I used to, which, I mean, you can thank 343 and Halo Infinite for that. Well, there's one of my friends online. I don't know if that's going to show up in the recording or not. I could have went offline. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Other games. Um... Like I said, haven't really been playing Halo too much, mostly because of 343 and Infinite, and just I'm just waiting until you decide to give us the update where we get Flood Firefight with Master Chief Collection and uh, Elite Firefight. But it was promised to us back in October of last year by 343, and it's in the middle of January, <laughs> so. We have a lot of faith that they're going to be getting it to us pretty soon. They're pretty much focusing on Infinite, releasing the numerous overpriced microtransaction Fortnite style DLC shit, and eventually the inevitable uh, campaign DLC, which will be coming 100%. I, I know it will. One thing over there, I don't know if you can see it, I'm pointing at it right now, almost like a middle finger on that island. So there's a giant middle finger just facing my house. That's always cool. Anyway, but this eventual campaign DLC that will happen, it will not be free. I already know that. I'm just waiting for it, honestly. I know it ain't going to be free, and that's just, we're just gonna have, people are just going to have to accept it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, I've mostly been playing Alien Isolation, um, Skyrim. I'm getting back into Skyrim, modded Skyrim as it is, which is really fun. I love just modding games. I really do. It's always fun to be able to do it because, you know, like me, I'm not really that tech savvy with stuff. So, when it comes to when I'm able to mod games uh, successfully, it's a bit of a surprise when I'm able to do it. So, it's always cool. So, but, I mean, it's just, 
mostly the mods I have on Skyrim are just like graphical mods, like realistic water, realistic lighting. I had, oh man, voice crack. I had a mod that let me use, or not use, but it puts a jade from Mortal Kombat in the game. And as a companion, one that you could uh, make as a companion, marry and all that stuff. Which, you know, I had her as my companion. You know, she was my wife and everything and all. But then, for some reason, I don't remember if I got it off of Nexus Mods or um, Skyrim Workshop on Steam. But for some reason, the mod is just gone. I don't have it anymore. I looked in Nexus and the Skyrim Workshop area. Didn't find it. But the, problem with, the main problem with that is... The game still thinks that she is in the game, even though she isn't. So anytime I try and get a new companion, they're just like, oh, you already have a companion with you, even though she's technically not in the game. So I would have to make a brand new name from this point because of that. Which I will admit is frustrating because I'm in the middle of the Dragonborn DLC. And I just freaking got the Death Band armor, the Stalrim Death Band armor that you, like, hunt all around Solstein for. Do you find the freaking map for it? So, the fact that I have to go back after getting that is just infuriating. Quite a bit. But whatever, it is what it is. I mean, to be fair, it's not like the end of the world. I have other mods that will help me. There's a mod that lets me have uh, Imperial Centurion armor or Centurion armor, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And I can pretty much just like make that early game if I wanted to. So there is that. Um, I did not think this through by jumping down here like this. To just do that. There we go. Now, some more trees. So, yeah, I've also been playing um, Alien Isolation for the first time, which, from what I've played, is a fantastic game. I mean, if you out there watching are a fan of the Alien franchise, Alien, Aliens, you know, Alien vs. Predator, any of those and you want a really good alien-themed game, definitely, definitely 100% check out Alien Isolation on this platform. I know it's on PC, I know it's on Xbox, PlayStation. I don't know if it's on Switch or not. I don't know what is or isn't on Switch. I know they have Skyrim on the Switch. I know that they have Outer Worlds on the Switch, which is kind of weird to think about, but... You know, whatever is what it is. But I definitely, definitely recommend picking out Alien Isolation, even without the DLC. I mean, yes, the DLC is really cool, but it's not, like, super, super important, honestly. It's mostly just, you know, the DLC is mostly for, like, hardcore super fans, which, you know, like myself, of course I want it, because they have the true expendable DLC, which lets you play as one of the Nostromo survivors, and they're voiced by the original people, like Sigourney Weaver and all those other people. Um, I don't think they have Park, unfortunately, because I think Gethet Kodo died, like, not long after the movie came out, I think, or did he die recently? I don't even remember. But then you also have, uh, I think, Varna Cardwhite, Chris Lambert. Um, I, forgot who played, I forgot who played Dallas, but either way, I know Ian Holm as... Um, Freaking, I almost said pain. I don't know why I was thinking pain. Uh, Ash. So, yeah. Definitely check out Alien Isolation. Another thing I've been playing, Empire at War. You've never, if you're, if you're a Star Wars fan, check out Empire at War. None of this is, none of these are like adverts or anything. This is just me telling you what I like playing. So, if you want to check it out, cool. If you don't, cool. I mean, you know, I'm not going to like sit here and tell you what you should or shouldn't get. <laughs> You know, I also wish my laptop PC was a bit more powerful to be able to play Outer Worlds 
recently. I can still play it, but only on like the lowest graphics, which is not a super, super big issue. It's just a little aggravating. I'm going to cut down a few more trees and go back inside. Because it's already almost nighttime. Hooray! But anyway, so that's basically what I've been playing. I really haven't touched Halo recently at all. I've just been extremely disappointed with what Infinite's been doing in every sense of the damn word. And it's just it's it's just beyond aggravating, honestly. I mean there's no other way of saying it. I mean it's just you know, it's like the freaking meme from the guy that reviews food stuff on YouTube is like, you know, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. That's basically how I feel with this damn game. So there's that. I'm not gonna be playing it. Even if I could play it, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna spend sixty dollars on the campaign. I'm not gonna waste my internet installing it or installing it or the multiplayer. And I don't even want to. I have twelve eggs. I just now realized that I can start a chicken farm potentially. That would be a good thing because I can get food. Why do I have amethyst block again? I have amethyst shards. No idea what those are used for. Anyway. Point being, not going to be doing it, so that's just how it is. I mean, if you all out there want to play it, that's you. I mean, that's that's your choice, your decision. I'm not going to tell you to not play something if you really want to. I mean, that's, that's your choice. If you decide you like it and you want to play it, fine. That's, that's your choice, 100%. Go for it if you like it. But if you don't like it, then, you know, simple. Don't play it. I'm sure as hell not going to be playing it at all. And there's a Discord server that I'm in. Son of a... As soon as I start badmouthing Infinite, this crap happened. Anyway. There's like two Discord servers I'm in, and it's like night and day. Because like in one server I'm in, it's, a, it's from a YouTuber that reviews or does Halo-related stuff. And a lot of the people in there, you know, I've been in that server for a few years now, I think. And a lot of the people in there, they're pretty like-minded. They don't like Infinite. They don't like what 343 is doing. There's another server that I've joined fairly recently. And it's the complete opposite. They just love Infinite. It's like, oh, the campaign's so good. Like, what about the, you know, all the microtransactions? Oh, the can't multiplayer is free. They got to pay for it somehow. Yeah, a multi-billion dollar company that in aka Microsoft and you mean to tell me that all the stuff that they get from it really because you have people that are just that don't want to buy it through the Xbox they prefer Steam they're going to spend the full $60 on Steam and even if they get it through Game Pass they still have to buy Game Pass so either you're going to make money through people spending the $60 on the game the campaign, quote unquote, or Game Pass. So either way, you're making money. Either way, they're making a crap ton of money. They don't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's not something that they just have to be doing. I know I've made videos on this channel before, already talking about Infinite being the dead horse at this point, but it's just how it is. I'm just not gonna be doing it. So, it's disappointing to say the least. But the games I have been playing recently, I've been having a lot of fun. Alien Isolation is really good. They nailed the atmosphere of the movie. And, you know, just everything looks fantastic. It's nice to be able to play it with, like, very high-quality graphics. Skyrim, still a great game. I mean, you know, obviously it's going to be great, especially with the mods. I mean, the mods definitely help make it such a fantastic game. But e <clears throat> even on its own, in its own right, it's still the good game. I need to get this. Just in case. Anyway. So, 
though, I still really enjoy it. I think the only problem I've ever had with Skyrim is, like, the part leading up to the end where you're trying to get to the portal to... And I know, you know, I don't care about the whole people when we talk about spoilers. The game came out in 2011, okay? The game's been out for over a decade. So if you haven't played it yet, then obviously you're not interested in it. Anyway, the part we had to get to the portal to Savangar, which is basically like the game's, the friend you know, the Elder Scrolls version of the afterlife. You know, the final battle there, it's so grueling. It's insane. I mean, I had like the toughest armor. I had full dragon bone armor. And not only that, it was upgraded on top of that. It wasn't just plain. It was like upgraded at the freaking, uh, whatever they call it, the workbench or whatever. So I had that upgraded at least a few times to a really good grade. So wasn't just, you know, standard base armor, you know? <laughs> so, even with that, it was an extremely tough and difficult battle. I mean, the fight with Alduin was much freaking easier, which is insane. The fight for the boss is easier than the fight with the boss. That just makes zero sense. But, I mean, it is what it is. I've also been playing, traveling a bit in Fallout New Vegas, which... Fantastic game. I don't want to hear people, or see people rather, I guess, talking about, oh, it's so buggy, it's so glitchy. Look, the game was made in 18... Ow. Damn it. Oh. Right, I'll grab this real quick. Alright. I'm trying to keep my train of thought here while I'm dealing with this. Anyway, the game was made in 18 months, a year and a half. Not a lot of people know that, because I went into, you know, I've recently joined another server in Discord, and I talk about, you know, like, one of the questions that they were giving around to, like, the newer people was, like, you know, what are your favorite games? I said, oh, you know, uh, Halo. I said, well, actually, no. This was, no, this was after I talked about, this was fairly recently. So it wasn't Halo. I think one of them was um, Skyrim. One of them was Alien Isolation. Um, what was another one? Minecraft was one other one because Minecraft's pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. Empire at War. Oh yeah, um, Witcher. That's another one. And one of the main ones I said was um, Fallout New Vegas. And you know they were like, "Oh, how can you like that game? It's so buggy. It's so glitchy. It's a complete mess." And I was like, "Well, the game was made in." 18 months, of course it's going to be problems, and they're like, wait, seriously? It's like, yeah, it was made in 18 months, so that's why it has so many problems. It only had a year and a half to be made, and they're like, really? It's like, yeah, because you're talking about game, you know, the full, you know, Fallout New Vegas game, and then four campaign DLC story add-ons from Dead Money, Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, and Lonesome Road. So, of course it's going to be bugs, of course it's going to be glitches, of course it's going to be issues with it. And the fact that not a lot of people seem, that there's people that don't seem to really know that is kind of shocking and irritating at the same time. But, I love it, I love the setting, I love the game, I love the characters the writing, just everything about it is freaking awesome. So, it's a game that I'm always going to really enjoy. I don't think there's anything that would really make me not like it, in all honesty. I would really like, even though I know this probably would never happen, at least not for like another, like, many years from now, but I would love for Microsoft to let Obsidian take reins on a New Vegas remaster, you know, like new engine, new graphics, you know, maybe some new story elements, you know, you know, get everything good looking, and in some of the maybe the cut elements that they were forced to cut for time constraints, and boom, you'd have a fantastic game. You have easily game of the year if that was a thing. Well, if the Fallout New Vegas remaster was a thing, not Game of the Year. I know Game of the Year is easily a thing. But anyway, so that's just 
I really wish that that would be a thing. That would be fantastic. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they're busy with all their other... Obsidian is busy with all their other games. So, I mean, it makes sense. I am very much, very much looking forward to Outer Worlds 2. Outer Worlds 1 was fantastic. I love it. It's a great game. So I'm definitely excited for what will happen with Outer Worlds 2. Very excited. I made pink stairs. Damn it. That's why I wanted to not do. Well, if I need to have a staircase for my mine, I don't know what to use. But anyway. So, I'm really excited for what Obsidian has to do in the future. Because Obsidian has proven numerous times that they know what they're doing. And they deserve all the praise that they get. Meanwhile, Bethesda is just trudging along just barely. I mean, I, I'm not going to say that Bethesda doesn't make good games because Bethesda does, or rather they did. But as of now, not that good, honestly. I mean, I mean, how long did it take for them to get on 76 into a working, you know, good condition. Working quite a bit. So, I don't know. Um, might as well just do this, because I don't think I can put one... Yeah, I can't put one here, then one on the other side. Oh, hello, skeleton. Oh, wait. Boom. Now I have a pin, potentially, for, um, now, for the future. Wait, where's the skeleton? There he is. Hey, skeleton! Pony, get over here. Hey, skinny. Hello, creeper. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, I didn't want all of you. Where did the skeleton go? What, did he fall down here or something? He didn't. Okay. Not gonna bother with that. Okay. I'm gonna need to make a new axe. A couple skeletons over there. Another one over here. Oh, there's two more over here. Holy crap. Hey, what's up with the skeletons? How many skeletons are there? What the hell are you? Okay, none of the living dead much? Ow. Seriously? It's a pickaxe, you just still die from it. Okay. Right, let's go to sleep. Now that the house is done, move on to better stuff in the future. Okay, 
Okay, where are the sticks I have? I know I had them in here. Where the F? There they are. So I can make two more axes with this. Where do I have? There's my cobblestone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you might say, oh, why aren't you making them with iron? Well, I mean, the thing is, the iron the iron one does just as much damage as the stone one. So there's no real point in wasting iron on it. I think I'm going to be using iron for to make uh, pickaxes. That's a hoe. I don't know what that was. I should plant... I should plant this... I should plant this sugar cane, now that I think about it. Because I have buckets I can make water. You know what? Let's plant this sugar cane. Oh, that's sandstone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's start moving this up, because I hate leaving things with empty spots like that. Goody, goody, goody gumdrops. Okay. Okay, help replace six of these with sand. Oh, damn it. Pretty good that didn't damage anything. Put the torch here. Another one here. There we go. So I did not need to bring my bucket to help make water. Awesome. All right, I'll put this back up. Okay. Go sleep. I got to harvest some of my stuff, and then I will be ending it there because it's almost time for my phone to start streaming. And I don't want to miss that because I really want to play Among Us with him. If he, play, if he does play Among Us, because I know on Wednesdays he plays either Among Us or Infinite in... Since Infinite's big team battle is broken, he hasn't been playing. He hasn't been streaming the Infinite's multiplayer. How long has the game been out by now? Just saying. Again, I know it's free. Doesn't excuse it. Alright. So basically this video will either be up later today or tomorrow because I have to encode it to make sure that the file is not 18,000 gigabytes. Basically what I do is I run the video. What is that? What the hell? Are those, those aren't zombies. Are those villagers? Oh, those are illagers. Nope. No thank you. Anyway, I run the file video file through an encoding program and it makes it to where a file that's normally like four or five gigabytes into like a few hundred megabytes. Alright, let's go ahead and okay. Get that up, get more bread. Alright. Alright, that is all for this part. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, now that the house is done, we can finally start doing stuff like mining, um, hunting monsters, uh, exploring, and stuff like that. So, there you go. I hope you, I appreciate you for being really patient with me for this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you whenever I do Minecraft next. Bye.